Leslie Nielsen, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, stands out among his contemporaries for seamlessly transitioning from serious roles to comedic genius. His ability to deliver deadpan humor in iconic films like Airplane and the Naked Gun series set him apart in an era dominated by traditional genres. Nielsen's impact on the comedy genre remains enduring, showcasing a unique talent that resonates with audiences across generations. While personal anecdotes vary, many share stories of how his comedic timing and irreverent style inspired laughter and left a lasting impression. His work transcended entertainment, influencing individuals and shaping their appreciation for humor in unexpected places. As we explore funny, shocking, and poignant facts about this classic Hollywood actor, we invite you to share your cherished memories or personal experiences with him in the comments below. Keep watching for more insights into the life and career of this legendary entertainer. Your stories are valuable and we look forward to hearing them. Stay tuned for a journey through the fascinating aspects of his career. Born on February 11, 1926, in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, Leslie Nielsen grew up in a family of five as the son of Ingvard Nielsen, a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and Mabel Elizabeth Davies. His father instilled a sense of discipline in him from an early age. Nielsen's early life was marked by a blend of sports and performing arts. During high school, he developed a passion for acting, leading him to join a local theater group. However, his journey into the entertainment world was briefly interrupted by World War II, during which he served as a Royal Canadian Air Force aerial gunner. After the war, Nielsen pursued his interest in acting, attending the Neighborhood Playhouse, and making his Broadway debut in 1950. His early career featured dramatic roles in both film and television, including notable appearances in Forbidden Planet and guest roles on popular TV shows like The Twilight Zone and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. It wasn't until the 1980s that he underwent a significant career transformation, transitioning from serious roles to comedic ones. This shift was sparked by his memorable performance in the film Airplane, showcasing his untapped talent for deadpan comedy. This unexpected turn led to a string of successful comedic roles, most notably in the Naked Gun film series. His ability to seamlessly switch between serious drama and slapstick comedy showcased his versatility as an actor. Nielsen's unique comedic timing and delivery became his trademark, solidifying his status as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In conclusion, his early life in Regina, military service, and initial foray into dramatic acting laid the foundation for a career that would evolve into one of the most unexpected and celebrated shifts in comedic performance in film history. Ingvard Nielsen, Leslie Nielsen's father, served as a Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer for Northwest Territory and Saskatchewan. This background likely influenced his disciplined upbringing. Film critic Roger Ebert, acknowledging his comedic prowess, once labeled him the Lawrence Olivier of spoofs. This compliment underscores his impact on the genre and his ability to master the art of comedic performance. In recognition of contributions to the entertainment industry, he was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 65 on 41 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on December 9, 1988. This accolade solidifies his enduring legacy in the realm of entertainment. From his roots in a law enforcement family to being hailed as a comedic genius, his journey is one marked by discipline, talent, and recognition. His Hollywood Walk of Fame star stands as a testament to the significant impact on the world of entertainment. In fall 2003, the Grant Maswan College in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, marked a significant moment in Leslie Nielsen's career. The Leslie Nielsen School of Communications was inaugurated during a ceremony attended by the actor himself, standing as a testament to his influence. His journey in the entertainment industry includes noteworthy contributions to cinema. Two of the films, Forbidden Planet and Airplane, have earned a place in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. These selections underscore the lasting impact of his work on the cinematic landscape. Leslie Nielsen's roots trace back to Edmonton, Alberta, where he attended and graduated from Victoria Composite High School. This educational background played a crucial role in shaping his early years and laid the foundation for future accomplishments. From the Leslie Nielsen School of Communications to the recognition by the Library of Congress, his journey reflects a trajectory marked by achievement and influence.
The unveiling of his school and the inclusion of his films in the National Film Registry serve as milestones in his enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. Before the iconic airplane, uh, Leslie Nielsen's journey into comedy had subtle beginnings. With earlier roles in comedies like How to Commit Marriage, he gradually transitioned into the spotlight as a funnyman. At the young age of 17, he took a different route, enlisting in the Royal Canadian Air Force and training as an aerial gunner. Beyond the laughter on the screen, his family had its own share of prominence. His older brother, Eric Nielsen, left a mark in Canadian politics, serving as a progressive conservative member of parliament for the Yukon Territory. Rising to the position of Deputy Prime Minister of Canada, Eric's political journey ended with a sudden heart attack on September 4, 2008 in Kelowna, British Columbia. In this article, we'll delve into Leslie Nielsen's early comedic endeavors, his unexpected detour into the Royal Canadian Air Force, and the political legacy left by his elder brother. Stay tuned for an insightful exploration into the lesser-known aspects of the actor's life. Awarded a star on Canada's Walk of Fame in Toronto, Ontario in 2001, Leslie Nielsen's recognition extended beyond borders. His impact reached West Virginia, where he became an honorary West Virginian and ambassador of Mountain State Goodwill on February 20, 22. This honor, bestowed would by then Secretary of State Joe Manchin III, now a U.S. Senator, acknowledged his unique connection to the state. During a promotional visit to Winnipeg, Canada for the movie Man with Brooms in 22, he and co-star Paul Gross received honorary citizenships from Winnipeg Mayor Glenn Murray. These acknowledgments reflect the widespread recognition of their contributions, transcending both national and regional boundaries. From Canada's Walk of Fame to West Virginia's honorary title and Winnipeg's citizenship, Nielsen's recognition was not confined to the glitz of Hollywood. These accolades stand as testaments to his impact, connecting him with diverse communities and underscoring his influence on a broader scale in the world of entertainment. Auditioning for the role of Masala in Ben-Hur, Leslie Nielsen faced stiff competition, but ultimately lost the part to Stephen Boyd. Despite this setback, Nielsen's career took diverse turns, including an appearance at the Chiller Theatre Expo in Parsippany, New Jersey, alongside notable figures such as actress Jamie Lunar, John Schneider, Angie Dickinson, and others on October 24, 28. Notably, he received the OC from the Governor General of Canada on October 10, 2002, recognizing his significant contributions to the entertainment industry. This prestigious award acknowledged his services, solidifying his standing as a respected figure in the Canadian entertainment landscape. From vying for roles in historical epics to gracing events with industry peers, Leslie Nielsen's journey was marked by diverse experiences. These instances, along with his Officer of the Order of Canada recognition, showcase the actor's dynamic career and enduring impact on the entertainment scene. One month before his Forbidden Planet co-star Anne Francis passed away, Leslie Nielsen left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Beyond his iconic roles, he received recognition on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars, where a Golden Palm Star was bestowed upon him on December 4, 1997. Considered for the role of Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, ultimately portrayed by Johnny Depp, he showcased versatility throughout his career. His journey included diverse experiences from Hollywood recognitions to potential roles in major films. These instances provide glimpses into the multifaceted career of a respected figure in the entertainment industry. From the Palm Springs walk of stars to missed opportunities in iconic roles, Nielsen's impact resonates beyond the screen. Becoming a naturalized United States citizen on November 16, 1958, Leslie Nielsen's journey in the entertainment industry is marked by intriguing twists and contributions. His roots with a Danish father and Welsh mother hint at the diverse influences that shaped his career. Beyond iconic roles, he was in consideration for the part of Jack Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, ultimately portrayed by Jack Nicholson. From his disciplined upbringing in a law enforcement family to the inauguration of the Leslie Nielsen School of Communications in Edmonton, Alberta, his impact extends beyond borders. Noteworthy films like Forbidden Planet and Airplane found a place in the National Film Registry, attesting to their cultural significance. 
His journey took unexpected turns, including a detour into the Royal Canadian Air Force at the age of 17. Honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and Canada's Walk of Fame, his recognition reached further, making him an honorary West Virginian and ambassador of Mountain State Goodwill. The actor's dynamic career included diverse experiences from vying for roles in historical epics to receiving the Officer of the Order of Canada. While his name may not be synonymous with roles like Willy Wonka, his versatility was acknowledged with a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. As he left his mark on the entertainment landscape, his journey resonates beyond the screen. In exploring the lesser-known aspects of his life, from familial connections to political legacies, this article sheds light on the man behind the comedic genius. His influence, recognized globally, reflects a career etched with unique experiences and significant contributions to the world of entertainment.